from here. You don't sound sincere. Bandericon, Captain's Log, Episode 8, Better Off Dead. Last episode I went into pretty much a little bit of depth about why I love playing Hero. It gives me that feeling warm and fuzzy inside. Uh, I love making the sacrifice play. It shows that when I play any kind of game I usually play medics or support classes. Um, something that can do shielding, buffing, you get the idea. Uh, not just in video games but tabletop role play, LARP, etc. the works. But there are a couple exceptions, a couple times when a character in a game has absolutely made me like just flip and just turn on a pin and go what and there are two really 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 good examples um one of them was in the original dishonored now possibly one of my favorite features of that game other than the whole game was the heart of the outsider where you could basically had an item you could point it at character, NPC, Major, even the Goon Squad, just pretty much anyone, and you could hear their sort of internal thoughts unfiltered by sort of any kind of machismo or anything. It basically, you heard what they were scared of. And more than a couple people, like even the pretty most like cutthroat thugs were looking out for family. I remember one of them had a brother at home who thought he was like a factory worker. I really looked up to him. It's probably the reason so many of them didn't get killed me by me, to be honest. But there was a few characters in that game. And the filter comes off and it's like, nope, these are absolutely horrible pieces of shit. Goodbye. Um, the other one was actually, surprisingly enough, in a game that wasn't so good, but still loved it very much. It was Dante's Inferno. Uh, the sort of DMC style hack and slash which had a really, really good anime, uh, like seven part series, uh, well, one part movie, seven episodes, anyway. You go through the depths of hell and you have the choice to either sort of redeem or damn some of the people in hell. Uh, characters you meet along the way, you get basically bonus points. It's pretty arbitrary. It just chooses which points you get to put in your unlock tree. But the cool thing was, so going through the early stages of hell, layers of three, I think one through about five, um, You've got people whose only sins are, at best, um, I was just, I wasn't as good at being a good Christian as I wanted to be. But at worst is something like, I enjoyed eating too much gluttony. And quite frankly, it's not something you want to, if you can redeem someone from that, that's fine. And that hit the big hero button for me. I was like, yes, 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 you go to heaven. Fantastic. But the wonderful thing about that game is if you stop and stand outside of those people, just like stand next to them for a while and listen to what they're saying, they will actually like talk to themselves about what they've done. So again, layers one through five, these people are like, I love this guy, blah, 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 etc. Or the guy's like, I couldn't help it. I was rich and I liked being fat. Fantastic. You know, go with God, have fun. But I think layer seven, uh, Wrath, it might have been. Um, I stopped for a minute to listen to a guy do his bit, and he went something along the lines of, yes, I, I charged them all they had and more, and then I killed them anyway. Don't have a chance to pay the tax? Too bad, scrub. Into the pit of fire. And then you rock up to this dude, literally hoist him into the air, Undertaker style, and he's like, I never thought I'd charge too much in my protection fees, and I stopped for a minute. It's like, do I want this guy in heaven? Why would I want to redeem someone like this? Just for a minute, why? And no, I literally cut him to bits and I just threw him into the fucking lake of fire again. I mean, he was already there to begin with, but hey. And I just want you to think for a minute. It takes a lot for me to dislike a character in video gaming. I was practically rooting for Kevin Spacey in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, simply because well, he actually had kind of a vision and wasn't just like America. He, yeah, he committed some atrocities, but he kind of had an idea of what the future of mankind should be like. But I rate that on a game that absolutely wasted Kevin Spacey. 
And touching on AAA titles for a second, it had really, really, really good villains in it. Uh, the Division. You're facing off against the Rikers Island gang, and the final boss of that group, I've completely forgotten her name, but she was a nasty fucking piece of work. Now, I remember playing it with one of my boys, and you come up to the final mission, so the boss wipe, and it sets up the scene really, really, really well. You've got the whole ecosystem where you can view basically like uh, playbacks of what's happened. And so you rock up to the place, they're holding an open air execution of God. You've seen that before, it's not uncommon. So you save him, you rock in. And you're seeing these echo recordings of things like convicts playing pin the tail on the like guard, but with a fire axe. And then I think there's one rendition where you hear um, them forcing two of the, I think they're coalition forces, something like that. Anyway, forcing two of them to have a drinking contest and the winner gets to survive. And then as the first shots get down, they realize they're forcing them to drink bleach. And you're seeing all of these um, guard bodies basically just mutilated and completely fucked. You're hearing the wild laughter and the partying from the echoes. And God damn, that had me bloodthirsty. I mean, I never really had any moral qualms about taking New York back from them, but I definitely wasn't looking forward to it as much. I mean, the um, purifiers, the cleaners, they had at least an idea of what they were doing. They were doing it for the wrong reasons. They thought that by burning everyone, they could kill the dollar flu, which, you know, at least had an objective. Um, the mercenary company were more or less just digging and holding, but they were doing it in a less than friendly manner. Understandable. But the Rikers, they literally were there to have fun. And as such, they were the only faction that earned my empty. I would literally go out of the way to find and off them, which made for some really, really intense dead zone firefights, usually running between two or three groups of them and then like bumping into a, like a mercenary company. Rough. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Um, hopefully more incoming soon. See you later. I'm afraid